We announce Jackie yeah. Rocky level, Jackie Jackie top low Bring it up a level, bring it, bring it up low Set it up, set it up Alright, so hello everyone This is iCase Reviews here And today I got the I Love Double Play Hi-Fi Dual Alarm Clock For the iPod and iPhone 3G so right here as you can see dual double play two docks um has the new time sync so this is the newer model of the IM7 173s so right here IM173 has the really crazy J J Aura echo sound cell technology so that's rich clear and bold on the back uh, quick overview works with iPhone. They're genuine if you if they have the logo, so the Mi 5 pod works with iPhone. And so right here, English, powerful bass, uh, ten ten step dimmer control, auxiliary line input for any audio device with a 3.5 millimeter jack. So it works with any MP3 player. Also, if you have the uh, input no uh, wires. Two dock uh, for iPod let you charge up to um, two iPods or iPhones simultaneously. So that's really great. And it also doubles up as I mentioned a radio, a radio iPod stereo system. Um, what else? Alarm clock and anything you can imagine actually. So let's get into the close-up view of the actual product, and and I'll show you guys the review. So let's go. All right. So here I just switched the camera angle, and as you can see, this is basically what it looks like. It's just a pretty big a, um, system. Now let's turn this over and show you guys. So we have a a few basic controls here. There is the switch here, which is for daylight saving time. Um, got the plug here to plug into your outlet um, for it to power up. Your FM antenna right here. You can put your your phone. Um, you can plug it in here, and also the AUX ah, for your other MP3s. So right here, I love. It has a humongous and really clear um, uh, screen right here LCD and uh, so we've got a big button here as, as you can see it says snooze and dimmer controls on this thing look really nice they're easy to na navigate and um, overall really nice so we've got the two speakers on the side J Aura so right here on the screen um, as you can see there is it shows the radio we're on radio right here PST and uh, OST DST your time here 923 and your date on the bottom and pretty bold letters you you'll probably see this from across the room now we have a little le logo here for the shuffle as you can see so let me just show you guys the docking um, uh, Forgot what you call these your docks. I guess I guess. So right here we have each one is different. Um for example, here says classic 80 gig iPhone and classic 160 gig. Another one, an iPhone classic 60 gig. Just in case you have two of the same. I think they give you that. Um iPod Touch Nano 3G. This, so this works with um, iPod Touch 2G, iPod Touch Nano 3G also works. So they include double um, duplicates and another 80 gig. So they give you three choices. Now the 4G also works um, with um, this stock. I'm pretty sure because I tried it with my friend's um, 4G. So there we go. And um, let me just show you guys the docking ports on the top. So right here we got the two docking ports and they look really nice uh, as you can see. What you need to do is simply clip this on here until you hear that uh, clicking sound. Make sure it's in correctly. 
Now, right here, as you can see, has uh, two nice uh, plastic railings, so guaranteed it won't scratch your iPod. Protect it. And so, right here, I got my iPod Touch. Um, so I'm just gonna plug that into the dock. And there you go. It is charging up already. Um, you can also take another dock. For example, if you have an iPhone, iPhone 3G, put it on this side. And um, so boom, there we go. You can also um, charge the most simultaneously. So yeah. Now for the buttons, let me just take this off right now. Um, show you guys. Now we have this. Uh, this is the select button, and also the time sync. Now a really cool feature about this is actually that time sync feature, the functionality of this thing. Um, when you put in your iPod and you press this button, it automatically. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. Um. It automatically syncs up with the time on your iPod. So, for example, if your clock, when you first get it, it's not going to be the correct time. But when you plug into your phone and just press this button, and boom, it's synced up and everything's ready to go. Now, we also have the auto scan button here, which is for radio um, purposes. It has FM. Um, so power on and off right here you can turn it off and turn it on of course you have your presets nice buttons for the FM so you see uh, 94.2 10.72 blah 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 anything um, so side here says mode press it sim to switch from this the mp3 AUX iPod and also your FM radio so it has three different modes, really, um, and it's really awesome. Now, what's really cool about this thing that I like is, you know, um, if you want to turn up the volume, simply turn these, and the volume, as you can see, really in really big bold letters, it tells you the volume. So z from zero and mute to maximum. Now this thing's a beast if you turn it on to maximum. You'll probably even hear in a a, hum a large party full of people because this thing is really, really loud. Now also we have our sleep button which is for alarm. Um, you can have two alarm presets. Now in order to change the, to set it up, simply hold it on and as, as you know um, it'll turn on. Nice blue um, light lit up there. The buttons are also lit up. So dimmer, change the brightness level on this thing. You don't have to have it on that bright. I just like to keep it on four or five. So that's pretty light already. And here we got our bass and treble, and also time and just hold it to set the time. So we got our bass and treble. So when you press it and you just turn, you can change. You can literally just change the bass and treble of um and of, of the sound so we've got the bass if you want more bass um more lower notes and boom you can also set it to negative bass which uh sounds pretty weird so there we go really simple as that simply turn this uh thing